we're getting a clear picture of who these brothers are. The family came to the U.S. 12 years ago after spending time in Kyrgyzstan in Russia's Dagestan region. In Boston, the boys became known as athletes, the younger a wrestler and the older one a boxer. Johar even became a U.S. citizen just last year on September 11th. But a year ago, their father went back to Dagestan after health issues. And we sent ABC's Kirit Radia there to find out more about this family. Good morning, Dan and Biana. This is the last place the suspect's parents were seen here in Dagestan. It's a shop that they were planning to open. It's also where they gave an interview to Russian television yesterday. After having spoken to ABC News several times by phone yesterday, the suspect's father has disappeared. He's not even picking up his phone anymore. The youngest son, the one who was detained by police yesterday, only lived here in Dagestan for a couple years when he was in the first grade, and that was over a decade ago. Neighbors we spoke to are shocked at the news. They describe it as a very normal family. One woman we spoke to said she saw the oldest son, Tamerlan, the one who was killed by police just last year on a visit to Dagestan. She describes him as a very kind young man who showed no signs of religious extremism. That's a very different picture than what some members of Congress are saying. They say it was during that visit to Dagestan last year that Tamerlan's religious views became much more extreme. This is a very poor and dangerous part of Russia. It's been fighting an Islamist insurgency for years. Those members of Congress say it was during that visit that Tamerlan became radicalized.